finish up. Is that okay? Uh, we've got 15 minutes left here, so I'm just going to hand you over to Donna. Uh, Donna Farrell has worked in public and financial services sectors in Dublin. Donna made the move to Marsh Mackey Recruitment, which was a startup at the time over 21 years ago, and um, she's brought that company on to really from strength to strength, operating across Loud, Mead and Cavan and Monaghan uh, and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. Donna uh, <laughs> has keen interest in people, their career choices and growth and was delighted to be invited to speak at the upskilling, reskilling subject, which is very topical at present. Donna, over to you. Thank you. Thanks, Paula, for that. Can you hear me OK? Um, Great. Okay. Um, I ju it's just such a, a new platform working in, in a, a kind of a virtual experience. We're so used to kind of doing the um, trade shows and uh, meeting people at stands and stuff like that. So um, it's, it's a very new way to kind of do this type of thing. Um, so I just want to commend yourself and the team for getting all the speakers straight, the whole series together. Um, it's been really informative to date and um, I'm sure it'll be a good one today as well. Um, but as well, I just wanted to say uh, this platform can be really good because it's quite focused and, um, you know, it's because at a, an expo it can be very noisy and it's difficult to kind of, you know, get to even have a conversation with people properly. So uh, it's good in, in, in this way that we can kind of get the information across to employers and em employees um, and in a concise manner as well, which is always handy. Um, so as I said, I just wanted to say well done on getting that whole series together and getting all the speakers together as well, which, uh, you know, takes a ton of work. So today we're talking about upskilling and reskilling, and I really want to focus on the importance of, of making sure that or you know, um, that employers take this on board, because uh, you might wonder why. I'm speaking about this, um, but obviously as recruiters here in Marsh Mackey, we're assessing CVs every day um, against the job criteria. So it's really important. Obviously, we're looking at the educational background of people um, as well as the experience that they bring as well. Um, we want to try and get as uh, close a match to the job description as possible. So um, while there are loads of elements that you know bring together the right candidate, we obviously are looking at the educational side of things as well um, before we can even consider them uh, to, to bring them forward uh, for a position. Um, that being said, we do assess employers as well which may well it's not unusual um it's a small world so we love to get feedback from ex-employees or you know um just general word from candidates coming in on uh, potential hires and that sort of thing and we want to hear that we like to hear that employers um who are nurturing their staff um you know it gives them a good name um it certainly makes like life easier for us because we uh, when we're speaking to candidates we're basically selling the job spec to candidates and um, it makes it a lot easier when we know that there are you know, good employers out there that are nurturing their staff and bringing them on and developing um, them with their business. So, um, so that's important. I think in general, employers are becoming more aware of upskilling as well. Um, you know, not uh, themselves, like management need to upskill on an ongoing basis. Um, you know, so I think that's really important because uh, employees will see that and it'll be a learned behavior and add to the culture of the organization as well so um you know it's it's certainly an investment for employers but i think the results um are your staff are definitely more confident in what they're doing um they don't need as much hand holding uh which lets you as management get on with what you're doing running the business on a day-to-day -day basis um upskilling your staff in spe specific areas that interest them but benefit your business also creates a learning environment uh, in the company um, adding to the positive culture of the of the company um, so i think that's really important i think it, it there's a bigger reach there for employers to take on board um, it goes a long way to tick boxes of the intangible qualities that um, employers seek as well so um, you know and they're invaluable in the long term employers look for you know obviously your intellectual ability confidence awareness um, emotional uh, you know your uh, ability to deal with um, irate customers and that sort of thing so and what I suppose a lot of employers come to us they really want someone that's copped on so um, 
So I think upskilling um, and reskilling staff is so important to the growth of business. Um, employers will see when they do invest in people that people will grow with the company. And that's what all business is striving to do ultimately. Um, in the current climate, I do think that the digital education has never been more to the forefront um, as leaders, employers are learning to run their business in a different way as we are today, even virtually. So uh, we've all had to get used to Zoom conversations, which was to me, I'd never heard of it in January of this year. Um, but, uh, you know, we've, we're all getting used to um, making sure our mics are on and all that sort of thing. The cameras are in the right place. Um, and that can bring its own anxiety. I know for me, I was probably more nervous about making sure everyone could hear me. Um, so, uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's a new learning uh environment I suppose this year um, which uh, you know we've all had to get used to and just kind of adapt to very quickly I think the the, the pace at which we've had to do it um, is surprising as well and um, but I think we have you know a lot of businesses have done it and adapted very quickly and and uh, gotten on with it you know so um as I say, one thing the COVID uh, 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 disease has has done is speed up our digital fitness. So digital fitness is when you're you're actually getting used to Zoom calls, managing um, you know the digital aspect of things uh, in your own office to make sure that you can work even remotely and that sort of thing as well. I know I know that remote working has been spoken about already. Um, but I don't think that we'll ever be going back to the way that uh, businesses have been run before. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of embracing it and, and moving forward. Um, so it's become more important, I think, for management as well to stay on top of their own digital fitness through whether that's podcasts, TED Talks, whatever it is. Um, and it markets the business in new ways as well. So obviously that's all part of upskilling, you know not necessarily looking at um, specific courses. Um, it can be just snippets of, of information as well. Um, so when you think of your own workforce, um, uh, when we think of our own workforce, uh, if we as employers can continue to upskill our workforce, we will see how they add value to our business. And they feel recognized as well. Uh, employees, um, they'll feel valued in the workforce place because you're investing in them and I suppose you're creating a happy workforce as well because you're showing that you trust what they're doing as well um, the alternative I think for employers to not upskill your staff is negative for everyone um, there is a risk when you upskill somebody that they will leave but um, I think the I think the the positives outweigh the negatives. If you don't upskill your staff, your your business will probably become a bit stagnant. You'll lose good staff quicker. Um, you'll probably have a higher turnover of staff as well. So I think um, it is important for management to take on board the upskilling of their staff and to make sure that the that you know their own business will benefit. They will see that, see the results longer term. Um, I think also employers are becoming more aware of that um, employees become brand ambassadors. Do you know, um, it's something that we probably overlook a little bit at times. But um, if if somebody is nurtured in the business and brought along, well, obviously, they're going to enjoy working for that company. They'll have good things to say. They'll be singing your praises um, and your business gets a good name, uh, which is which is fantastic. But it also means that it attracts the right people as well for your business. Um, so if they do leave, they'll have good things to say. Um, ideally, you want them to stay. And if they do stay, they'll probably stay long term. And um, the, so the, you'll see the value in the investment that you've made in them and uh, progress in the company. So it's really a win win situation for employers as well. Um, some companies that have the resources can, during lockdown, send staff on, on, uh, on courses. Um, Again, they don't have to be hugely expensive. Uh, I know that some business bodies are running courses. Uh, for us, the National Recruitment Federation ran some really good supportive courses through the first lockdown, uh, which were very helpful. Um, so, you know, it, it, it can be quite positive um, 
to utilize the upcoming six weeks uh, for staff that are maybe being temporarily laid off. Again, I know not every business is in a position to do that, but even to um, connect in with your employees if they have been laid off to maybe suggest some courses that they do. Um, there's a lot of financial supports out there. I'm sure that my other colleagues talking later will be able to give a bit of insight into what is available and even I know that the chamber has been fantastic and given uh, information out about uh, supports that are there for employers and um, and that so I think to have that support there is 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 really important um, and it, it'll it'll pay off in the long run as I say you know during these times which can be quite stressful for a lot of people employers included I know that, um, you know, our staff were, were glad of the extra support on how to handle, you know, um, even the anxiety. We would have a lot of um, agency staff out uh, working on the front line. Um, so we had to be able to deal with uh, candidates bringing in that may be a little bit upset. Uh, they needed reassurance about, you know, where they were working, what was happening, um, all that sort of thing. So. It, you know, what I felt was I knew my staff were trained in dealing with that and they dealt with it very well. And I think that was good because we could, uh, you know, you could put your emotions to one side yourself and kind of deal with what the candidate is actually going through as well. So um, had my staff not been trained up on that and upskilled, then, you know, it may have been a different kind of a conversation. Um, so I think, again, it, it shows that, you know, upskilling is important, but I suppose we have to kind of, you know, everything is, is just so quick. Now you just have to be quicker on doing everything, unfortunately. Um, which also can be exhausting. I am exhausted with this whole COVID thing. Um, I know that it wasn't a big uh, shock, or but you know, I was. Uh, I suppose uh, it wasn't a surprise, is what I meant to say. It wasn't a surprise, but I was a bit shocked when the the recent lockdown happened um, because you're kind of on this merry-go-round you're kind of trying to be positive um obviously dealing with things yourself but you're also trying to make sure that your staff are um kept positive and confident in what they're doing and kind of reassuring them as well so it can be exhausting for employers as well so that's why i do think to to make sure that they avail of the supports that are there um you know that it's that it, it you know it, it's an important time even for mental health purposes and that sort of thing i know we've all all of those things have been brought to the forefront um of a lot of employers minds as well um so what else was I going to say? So in regard to um, the, what was I going to say? In regard to direct employers, um, I think they, well, <laughs> I've lost my track, so sorry. <laughs> Well, I'd say can, uh, can we can, can we edit this part out? <laughs> don't worry. Well, we, we uh, as it as the, as the <laughs> thing, as a chamber, we had a survey, a business survey earlier in the year, mm. and we, you know, as the economy reopened, and it was staggering in terms of training and upskilling. We're 69, well, we surveyed 1,021 businesses, and um, mm. almost 900 of them were employers. And a staggering, like 70% of the businesses who employ, who had employees had conducted training during the lockdown period. Yeah. So 52% yeah. of businesses um, operators participated in training during the period and 68% of them were sole traders so there was an awful lot of upskilling mm. an awful lot of training mm. taken yeah. at that, and during that initial 16 week uh, lockdown yeah. so um so definitely you're 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 right and uh, sometimes you don't see the value of it when you're when you're so busy with your head down trying to keep yeah. the business going but lockdown gave that little bit of uh, space mm. to consider it um, yeah. And definitely, I think when you invest in your in your staff and give them the opportunity for training, they are they, they there is no doubt about it. They feel more valued. Mm. Oh, definitely, uh, definitely, be, because they they know that you're looking after them as well. Yeah. And and uh, and it, at a time when you know a lot of a lot of people are kind of um, as I say, it's it's an anxious kind of time. So uh, it's definitely great to have even the 
the county meat chamber there to contact them and to to keep in touch with what is available mm -hmm. because that's another thing employers maybe don't know where to go or they may not know um who to contact and that sort of thing but um so that's why it is fantastic to have the the county meat chambers there as well um and you know other the other um educational institutions that would would be able to give information on that um side of things as well so uh, in regards to our own um candidates i know that you know reskilling is is very important as well so reskilling is obviously when you maybe are uh, possibly making a lateral move um you might be in current employment or like